come on in. Welcome to my Dubai Palm apartment. Today I thought I could do a apartment tour and show you around my one bedroom apartment on the Palm Jumeirah. It's on the West Crescent and this apartment is part of the eight hotel which has a hotel side and also a residence side. We've been here nearly a year which has just gone so quick, like I can't actually believe it. The first six months I feel like we didn't properly furnish it. It came completely unfurnished and it's about 900 square foot. I believe. Feels like a really spacious, perfect size at one bed. It's got everything that we need. We did actually downsize in like size wise. We were in like a three bedroom house in the UK before. And then I was always conscious. I was thinking, how are we going to go from a house to an apartment? And I thought it was going to be a bit of a tricky adjustment, but it wasn't whatsoever. And I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed living here. I struggled to commit at first when we did initially move here because I wasn't hundred percent on Dubai. And I'd really recommend if you consider in moving abroad to try Airbnb for a few months, get the feel of the place and make your decision based on like where you enjoy living the most. That way I'll also show you like bits of furniture and stuff that I've picked up, where I've got stuff from and just any like hacks or anything that I can think of off the top of my head. So here's the open plan kitchen. So when we were looking for an apartment in Dubai, it was actually so tricky finding a nice kind of light aesthetic kitchen that wasn't super dark woodeny color. I also wanted a kitchen with an island. This is kind of like a small mini island. Like I still don't really understand it. It's got like a, a fake breakfast bar. It's like yeah it's a bit like a fake breakfast bar and fake kind of island but it works really well and what I found was in the one beds not many one beds have dishwashers which is a little bit of a shame but it's been fine like we just wash up as we go and then setting up the gas in Dubai was an actual mission. So that took us a little while because in the UK you usually set up your gas and electric under like one company whereas here it's separate and it takes a little while so we actually ended up getting the air fryer for that reason and we didn't have the gas connected for maybe like was it three or four months mate? It was a while. The gas is actually on a switch like you can hear it when it turns on and sometimes it makes this like pop sound which is when you know the gas is on and I do feel like I'm turning on like a bomb or something when I do that but it's actually a gas oven and then all the appliances are smeg so like the extractor fan all the appliances we use the air fryer quite a lot and I do spend a lot of my time here and then we've got a really nice big fridge which is quite important because again sometimes one beds have those like little mini fridges that you just can't fit anything in and we always have this like stocked to the max so yeah so that is pretty much the kitchen again like nice big sink which is easy to wash up pots and pans and then we've got loads of store like some of these are fake cupboards. Here is our little dining area. We actually didn't think we were going to be able to fit a dining table because it is quite a small space. So we went with this glass one and I feel like it's a perfect fit. It's also just a little bit quirky and different. So I found this on Facebook Marketplace and I think it came from Argentina or something. There was a story behind this little table when I picked it up from the guy. And then I picked up these armchairs that we use as dining chairs and they go quite well with the sofa. And then this is my pride and joy. I can't tell you how much I love this little spot. Set it up like a week ago. So here's my little coffee area. Now let me add this thing weighs 100 kg and I lifted this pretty much on my own but basically I've always wanted a coffee stand or just like a little setup and there wasn't enough room in this kitchen area because we had the air fryer out so I just thought I'd get like a console table and make it into a coffee stand area so I've got an espresso machine there and then frother that we really don't use to be honest. I actually found this design on Pinterest and then I reached out to it was like a kitchen marble shop and I just sent them design and I got a few quotes from like a few different ones. I think they're in Sharjah. And then I got like the best price and had this made. So it worked out in pounds to be, I think just under 300 pounds, which is crazy for real solid like marble. Definitely gonna take this with me wherever we go. So here's our living area. We spend so much time here, mainly on an evening when we're just chilling and we do eat dinner from here most of the time, which is quite funny because when we first got the sofa, we were like, 
absolutely no food allowed and now we sit here every night but we just put this little blanket wherever we sit to try and maintain its colour and then we did actually get the sofa cleaned yesterday which took about 40 minutes and I feel like it's just gotten rid of the staining mainly from like my tan or I think moisturiser builds up but yeah in here we really wanted to go for just a super calming neutral kind of vibe like it just feels so therapeutic whenever I wake up in the morning and I just love this space so much so we basically wanted a boucle sofa kind of like a cloud that was what we were going for and we couldn't find a sofa that wasn't like crazy crazy expensive and then we were thinking if we're only going to be here a year we didn't want to spend a load of money on a really fancy sofa and then have the cover full of like trying to take it wherever we go next kind of thing so we did so much hunting for furniture and we went to Dragon Mart which is near the airport just something to add make sure you're like well fueled if you ever go to this place because oh I felt like I lost my soul in that store like oh we spent hours going around loads of different shops and then again just like getting quotes seeing what like their work was and then we showed them the dimensions we wanted and a picture and then they ended up making this and again we managed to get it for a really good price it was a while ago when we got it but I think it was about seven or eight hundred pounds I mean it's not the comfiest sofa in the world like you can't really sprawl out as such amazing canvas from OC Homes which I just think ties everything in together and then here is this round coffee table which I really like I actually hunted this down. It was from West Elm, but I managed to get it off Dubizzle, which is kind of like a Facebook marketplace. And I just love the shape of it. I feel like it fits really well in the room. And then most of my decorations are from either Zara Home or H&M Home. I've got my little sage here, or sometimes like that, or like some incense if we're doing like a meditation. And then we just got this huge rug again from Dragon Mart. We just carried this out ourselves, basically. Like we just wanted a big white kind of rug and I feel like it goes super nicely and then oh Mason's not letting me forget this Mason's piece that he picked out which is this really cool floor lamp. Initially I didn't actually like it and it's really grown on me now so I think we'll keep this won't we. When we were furnishing this apartment we'd got outdoor furniture first before a sofa and this was just a rug for a while like we really took our time with this because we wanted to create a space that was super calming and that you just look forward to coming home to. So we were looking a lot into feng shui and what's good feng shui what's bad feng shui. Over here we've got these curtains so literally we didn't know this but when you get an unfurnished apartment in Dubai they don't come with any curtains or fittings like things like that so we had to get all of that done which took a little while to gather together and then I got this Ikea huge mirror I actually had this in our home in the UK not this specific one but I just got the same one and they have Ikea just the same as like back home and then we got this media console we needed something that we could put all our electrical stuff in on for like a warm coloured light basically in all our rooms I think it's so much nicer than a cool light it just creates more of a just calming vibe these are basically just full of crap they're really not organized like this is just full to the rim I feel like you're a bit of an electrical hoarder aren't you I like gadgets gadgets yeah oh that is so full and then through here is our bedroom <laughs> I don't know where to start in here because I just absolutely love this room. I guess we'll start with the bed. So this bed is 200 by 180. It's a king size bed. And we again had this custom made I think it was by the same people who did the sofa, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. By the same people who did the sofa, again, saw this on Pinterest. We wanted like a cloud theme bed. So you'll be able to see here, this is Mason's side. It's like a round base, which was actually really tricky to find. Like a lot of bed manufacturers didn't want to do like a curved one, but I can't tell you this has changed how we sleep. Just having more space because Mason's a big human and I feel like we had beds that were too small before so we'd kind of be too hot in the night so having a bigger bed has really changed that. I did want to put some sort of prints or something up here but I've just not got round to it and then we just got these little bedside tables here. I try and just keep this literally just for sleeping not too much going on in here. Invested in some really good bed sheets. These just feel so nice on your skin and just went with the same theme. I just wanted it to be super calming and nice. We also got an amazing mattress which was a recommendation from Mason's sister. It was a little bit more, I can't remember how much it was, but it was more of an expensive mattress. But again, I feel like we spend so much time sleeping, it's good to prioritise like a decent mattress. Trusty Ikea moms. I feel like you can't go wrong with these because they're that bit wider so you can just fit so much in. These are... <laughs> 
these three are just active wear drawers, which is really bad, but I feel like that I'm a hoarder of active wear. I just can't seem to throw stuff out. And again, we got these little lamps. I've got my lift up six week challenge checklist here. I have a crystal Mason got me for my 21st birthday, my makeup bag. And then I got this print from OC Homes, the same as the other one. I got this like 30% off. And then we've just got some a candle here that I don't really like to be honest. I just, I lit for you, especially today. Some prints of Mason and I, this is from a trip back in 2018 or 19, it'll have been in Cayman Islands. This is our money plant, which I think he's just shedding his leaves at the minute. I feel like he's the only one that's held up. We had another banana plant that didn't last long or did it got infested by these little ants. But again, this was a supposedly really good feng shui and just good for air purifying. And we loved how this like wrapped itself together. Here are curtains that you're probably not that interested in, but we had curtain wars. We kept ordering them and they came in the wrong color. Like they got sent in, I think maybe three times completely the wrong color. We got the same rug down here, which has actually survived a lot, this rug. Rug. I dropped some lipstick and Mason like stood trailed it all the way across here and then managed to find these stain removal people who came within like two hours when I called them and completely got the stain out that was on Just Life which is like an app on your phone which has just every home service you can imagine here is my wardrobe so they're actually really big I think they're really nice and big spacious wardrobes in here I've got two compartments up there that I can't really reach and the same game there and then Mason has his wardrobe this side and then come on through here here is the bathroom it might be a little bit dark in here this is Mason and I's dream bathroom because we've got his and hers sinks and I remember reading somewhere that the one piece of advice if you want to stay married to someone is to have uh, separate toilets and separate sinks I'm not nagging Mason at all and he can just have all his stuff uh, I can have all my stuff here just makes so much sense and I really like that they have this it kind of makes up for not having a dishwasher and these cupboards are just the best thing ever because everything's tucked away and just so neat so i'll put all my like beauty bits in here and i can just close the door really really love like the speck in these bathrooms with the dark marble and funny enough i had a really similar bathroom on my vision board and i feel like i really manifested this bathroom when we were looking at other apartments like we didn't really find anything that was like quite our style we've got this huge shower it's through here which is just so nice it's like a rainfall shower really nice bathtub here that to be honest we really don't use i feel like i've used it twice because it's a hot country i just don't feel it's as desirable oh and then something really important is to make sure if you ever move to dubai or whatever is to have a shower filter because the water here is apparently it's like it's, i don't know if it's hard water or it's just not the best quality water to wash your hair in and we had a few friends that that was the first thing they recommended about getting a shower filter to protect your scalp and your hair. Also, I didn't want to start by showing you this, but we have another bathroom here, which is just a toilet that we actually use as a storage room. That's the only thing I feel like you, everyone, you kind of need somewhere to put your stuff. I have like my ring lights and stuff in here. I'll show you lastly the balcony. A few things to mention here, by the way, just whilst I know it's a bit dark here, but one thing about these apartments that I didn't really notice when we were looking around is they're actually quite dark because of the tinted glass. You'll see here, like when I open this, how much brighter it is. But that's something that if I was moving somewhere, I would look at how much natural light they're getting. Here is the balcony. So we hang our washing out. Here most days, this is super spacious. I would like to say we spend a lot of time here, but I, we don't really. In the summertime, like for six months of the year, it is so hot out here. Like we never really came out here. And sometimes if there's like sandstorms, just get super sandy a lot of the time. But we've come out here sometimes like early morning, which is really nice, like with our coffee, just a nice spacious balcony. Then here is our like beach view as well as sand pit view. This is right next door, like the sand pit area, but we don't really mind because we want it to be on the beach and we tried to make sure like they weren't going to start building here anytime soon the beach is right here this you can see like the fronds to the other villas over there and just so nice being able to wake up especially from our bedroom and just literally see the sea mason's underpants down in next door's garden and i think my sports bra it was really windy the other day 
This will be the second time that we're going to have to go knock on our neighbour's door to awkwardly fetch our, un well, Mason's underpants. That is one major benefit of living in a hotter climate is you're washing dry in like 30 minutes out there. So that is pretty much the apartment tour. I've learned so much from living here, moving abroad as well. The audio did cut out here, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more like this, then make sure you've liked this video and also make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.